Hello once again, I am Jim Ducar with TND How Videos. Today we are watching a recloser changeout in Phoenix, Arizona. Our participating utility is Arizona Public Service, and this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. Now the scene is a convenience store parking lot just outside of downtown Phoenix. Now we'll start with the pre-job brief and hazard analysis, and then we'll go up and look at the recloser on the pole, the existing recloser. Now what reclosers do is they provide feeder fault isolation, they segment distribution into smaller pieces to limit outages, and they also allow communications with operations center to speed the recognition of a fault and response times. And we'll start here on the ground where the crew members are making the connections to the new recloser that's going up on the pole. They're just making as many of the connections as they can while on the ground. It limits the time up on the pole to connect it up. And let's listen as they talk a little bit about the equipment itself. Yep. So our arresters are basically left on the line for equipment protection. It protects the line, customers, equipment from high voltages due to switching, capacitor banks, uh, lighting protection. This is basically just a shunt where this can allow the extra voltage to go to ground. And now let's go back up on the line where you see an amp meter being used. Check for amperage on the lines. They're looking for reading a zero. And you heard that, so now they can disconnect the existing jumpers between the line and the existing recloser, both sides of the pole. Disconnect those jumpers and make a few more cuts to disconnect all the hardware on the pole, including a potential transformer, which you see here. That's going to come down also. Then put up some line blankets for protection. You see he's going to protect all three wires because we're going to use the boom here to take down the existing recloser. See them secure that with some harnesses so the boom can pull that Looks down. That's good, right? Touch, hold that. And now you see that existing recloser Doors. pulling away from the pole with the boom. And going to swing that around, bring it down to ground. It's going to be set right next to the new recloser that's going to be brought up with the same boom. But first, back up on the pole, you see the old recloser is gone. They have to put in new hardware for the new recloser on the other side of the pole. Notice they've also strengthened this guy wire I think so because too. the recloser is now going on that side of the pole. And here you see it being picked up by the same boom, bringing that up, and they're going to swing it around to the other side of the pole. Listen to them get it situated on the pole. Now attach the hardware, the bolts, to hold it in. And with the new recloser in place, we can now start to measure out the new jumpers and cut them to the right length. And now we're actually back down on the <laughs> ground, uh, adding a new control box for the new recloser. And you'll see him go up the pole here and attach those control wires from the new control box all the way up to the new recloser on the pole. And now back up on the pole, making final connections between the switches and the new recloser. Also taking the line blankets off because we don't need them any longer. We're done with the boom. Right here, this is it. And making the connections between the potential transformer or PT and the recloser. Also the control box and the new recloser. And once those connections are made, we can now land the new jumpers on both sides of the switches and new recloser. And we will break out the amp meter once again to check for amperage on the lines to make sure everything has been connected and tightened up correctly. And the final task for today up in the bucket is to open up the bypass. See a good shot here, the impact from uh, looking up from the bucket truck. And when we're done with this, in fact, Eric's going to give us a thumbs up signaling that we have a beautiful new recloser on this line. See the thumbs up here, Eric. There it is. And so with that, you have seen our video on a recloser changeout. 
Our participating utility was Arizona Public Service. This video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. Now as a quick reminder, what reclosers do is they provide feeder fault isolation, they help segment distribution into smaller segments to limit outages, and they provide communications back to the operations center. I am Jim Ducart with TND Howe Videos. Thank you as always for watching.